you gorgeous people of the interwebs, I hope you're having a fan dummy dozy day. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm Gwenny and I love luxury in all of its glorious forms. Today's video is a review of my Louis Vuitton Etui Voyage PN. Before we crack on with the video, I would love it if you would consider subscribing, ringing my bell and giving this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Now let's get down to business. If I seem excited about this one, it's because I am. I absolutely love this thing. Love, 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 love. Tiny bit of backstory. We bought this during my birthday shopping extravaganza a few months ago. And even my husband, when he first saw it, immediately said, yeah, I can absolutely see you getting a load of use out of that. You will use it across the board. And I absolutely have used it across the board. Let's do a little bit of the technical stuff first. This is the PM size of the three. It comes in an MM, GM and PM. Uh, the MM and the GM are much, much bigger and they've only got like a, an inch or two in between the two sizes. This one measures 24 by 17 by one centimetres. It is a monogram coated canvas. It is two pieces of canvas. So you see the LV is the same both ways up. It's got a zip that goes across the top most of the way down one side, it has a little tab. It has a little tab there with nothing on it. Uh, on the inside it is cognac and this is just a fabric lining and you've got the Louis Vuitton tab there. I originally wanted this piece with the Pivoin pink. I don't know how you pronounce it. Pivoin, Pivoin, uh, to match my Neverfull GM, which has the pink lining. And my client advisor managed to get me the last one in the country, but I had to pay for it then and order it through. And it arrived and it had a massive bump along here. I was super upset. Um, it, it was the only one left in the country and I suspect it was the only one left in the country for that particular reason. Someone's obviously had it and taken it back and someone else has probably looked at it and gone, nah, I'm not having that. So I took it into Bond Street and they said, oh, it's not a defect. We're not going to send it off for fixing. I was like, well, you can see it on the outside. This beautifully smooth. You could see it on the outside like a big boom. Now, I knew that that was the kind of thing that would absolutely annoy me. So I said with a very heavy heart, can I have a refund, please? But in the meantime, I was desperate still to get one and we found one on my birthday. So we bought it and it's brilliant and I love it. Yay. Anyway, what have I used this for so far? I've had this for two and a half months two and a half months. So far it has been used as a um, tickets, invitations, booking form, kind of hold all type document case. It has been a catch-all in my number 40 m and it has also been a clutch. It's pretty much done everything. It's really good as a clutch if you are popping to your mate's house, popping to your mum's house, whatever. Um, you're going in the car, so you can just grab it, chuck it on the passenger seat. You don't have to worry about crossbody handles, falling off the seat, getting tangled up in things and dragging the bag onto the footwell or anything like that. You literally just chuck it in there and off you go. So if I was going to use this as a clutch, what would I put in it? Very important cutaway here because I forgot to mention it at the top. On my birthday, we paid £280 for this. Now that was mid-December. In January, the price increased to £315 and earlier this week, it increased again to £325. So this is now £45 more expensive than it was when I bought it. I'm glad we got it when we did. I'm really annoyed with the um, double price rise on some of the items. This week's price rise has affected everything. The price rise in January affected some pieces, not all of them. Anyway, back 
it or what fits in it as a clutch. I can't remember if I mentioned it, but everything I talk about will be listed in the description below. My everyday pieces, my mini pochette accessoire. Now I don't know if you would want to use this in here, but you can if you want to. Pop that in, look. Da, da, da. Because this is so squishy and malleable, it um, it doesn't really doesn't look bulky at all when you put something a bit bigger in. I think I'm actually preferring this to my pochette accessoire, um, especially for the sort of clutch grab and go, um, just because it is a little bit bigger. And I have not got my pochette accessoire near me to show you. I could have done that, couldn't I? Eh. You know what they look like. Maybe I'll go and get it. I think I'll go and get it. I went and got it. So you can see, depth wise, the pochette accessoire is quite a little bit bigger. But for the rest of it, the um, Etui Voyage PM is quite a bit bigger. So I did mention that this took lots of um, booking paperwork and stuff like that so generally you print that out on A4 paper fold it in half don't have any folded A4 paper but I have an A5 book which is the same thing and I can just pop that in there so if I'm using it for documents still plenty of room I'm going to put passports in there all sorts of stuff absolutely brilliant right okay so back to using it as a clutch pochette mini pochette accessoire straight back in that's because that's where I was before I ran off to get the pochette accessoire to show you. I have just swapped out to the card holder, which was part of my pochette Felici set. I sold the little coin purse thing because it just seemed too flat and I didn't know what to do with it. But that fits in really nicely in there. That also fits in the pochette accessoire if you're going to use that as a crossbody. Interchangeable. Interchangeable stuff. We like it. What else have I got? I'm going to put... I should put my phone in here. That is the Samsung S9 uh, Plus. I think it's called Plus. It's the big one. I'm not going to do another big one. My hands are too small. There you go. So, so far, that's what we've got in there. And I still have room. So, I'm going to pop in my key pouch, which I've got some coins in at the moment instead of my round coin purse. So, I'll pop that in there. Testing times. So, I've got a bit of hand sanitizer. Make sure that lid doesn't pop off. Okay, and you can see that lock in there and I'm just going to pop my keys on top. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. What? I mean, it's a little bit bulky now. But what a thing of beauty. What a thing to combine form and function. Mm. Now, this might not be... To everyone's taste it might be a bit bland it might be a bit boring I personally like it because the only bit of vachetta vachetta is there and to be honest I'm not a fan of vachetta I much prefer the Louis Vuitton pieces that have black coated or treated leather handles and things like that instead of vachetta but it is what it is you can't get away from it and I think that's probably all I can say. I absolutely love this. I am a pouch girl anyway, but this is next level pouch. So um, I would thoroughly, thoroughly recommend this to anyone and everyone. I haven't seen any issues with wear. I didn't um, treat this little tab of fichetta, which is what I would normally do when I get something with a bit of fichetta on it. I got overexcited and didn't do it. I need to do that on my niece Mini as well that I got the same day. Christmas and my birthday got the better of me and I didn't do any of the stuff that I would normally do with my new items. Um, so yeah, brilliant, love it, absolutely gorgeous. 
if you're into pouches if you're into anything i'd say get one before the price goes up again because it's going to soon it's going to hit what did i say it was 325 it's going to hit 350 or 400 before long before we know it i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up hit subscribe ring my bell and i will see you for the next one in the meantime Stay fan dabby dozy. Bye bye.